starting us off today, one of us doesn't yet have a name. And Pignati's dead. <laughs> Elekid. There were several good nicknames for Elekid suggested, and it was a difficult decision that I had to mull over for a few days. Some names that I liked a lot were Rotor, I liked Hertz, I liked Buzzkill, I liked Murphy given his luck. Uh, another name that was suggested that I liked a lot was Bumble, with him looking like a bee and me bumbling around all over the place trying to find a Growlithe that was all his fault. But the name that I've settled on... A. McFly! This name was suggested by Ashton the Melon in our YouTube comments section. Congratulations to you and your wife for your daughter, by the way. Holy crap, that's amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of good nicknames, but I think McFly is a pretty good name. After all, he is kind of unlucky, he is kind of lovable at the same time, and, you know, he's a movie star. Plus, there's the whole gigawatts thing. I just, I couldn't resist. It's, it works on a lot of different levels. I also just like the idea that a lot of people suggested B names because of his color, but his name is Fly. <laughs> Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. I want to stand under the streetlight and look all atmospheric and stuff. Last time, we cruised on the Royal Unova and saw a lot of sights. Yeah, a lot of things to do. This time, we're going to go around the city a bit more. And I'm from the Castilia Harlequin Hunt. You found the Pastor by Analytics HQ Harlequin. All right. Hello. Greeting is important, isn't it? If you don't mind, would you mind telling me your favorite greeting? This is related to the passerby thing that I already filled out. So he's just another way that you could do that. If you're happy, what do you say? Awesome. Cause I say awesome because you should be a new phrase. That's also what I already have it set to. This is passerby analytics HQ. If you want to join us, please speak to the leader. Is that you? Because you look smart. What are people's favorite things? Favorite things? What's popular right now? Have you ever wondered about these things? Welcome to passerby analytics HQ. This is where you can find all the answers. You have good eyes. Eyes full of curiosity. You reminded me of Sonic and the Black Knight. Yeah, I'd say that's a good thing. Good! I will specially appoint you to be as a statistician. Statisticians uh, have only one task. They conduct requested surveys. First, you'll, need, you'll receive a survey request from me. And then with the survey radar, you'll choose the survey you want to conduct. Then if you pass by a lot of people, the radar will collect the information. Of course, we prepared the co a compensation for the survey. Statistician Blaze, I expect you to do a great job. What would you like to do today? Accept a request? Uh, we'll do a head, a hand ca a head count, not a hand count. Uh, so we'll say, what's the first Pokemon that you picked? We've already gathered survey data for this because we have passed by people on the sea gear. They will automatically be quizzed and collect this information, sort of like all that data that you collect on street passing. Um, in modern days, Oshawa looks like the most selected starter. That came as a surprise. That's why a survey is interesting. It's an excellent survey. Uh, let's see. Please accept this. We get a netball for that. It's just a nice passive way to get items. Uh, we gotta complete three more tasks if we're to do any more of this. We'll have to pass by more people in order to do it. We can only collect data on one at a time. Hello, do you have a favor a feeling gratitude? Oh, you dropped your Pokeball. Here you go. Uh, if you say so. This might sound trivial, but it's important. If you gave me something like that, uh... Thanks. You. I didn't want to say the default. That'd be rude, man! If somebody helps you, show your feelings of gratitude. I'm sure they will appreciate your feelings. Passerby Analytics HQ isn't really all that impressive. It's just something that'll happen passively, and you can come here and grab rewards whenever you do. I always think that this over here is stairs- Excuse me, news edition, please wait! Ugh, what now? Actually, I have a favor to ask you. I am asking statisticians to answer a questionnaire. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Questionnaire. Details about people. What is your hobby? Video games. What is your job? Video games. Details about people survey was added to the survey radar, so that's a new thing that we can ask. Uh, why don't you ask some other questions, too? Pokemon favorites. Do you prefer battles or trades? Actually, probably trades. I filled out every single questionnaire, and as a reward, I get a Sodi Pop! 
We can change our answers if we so wish. Nothing else. This really does look like you can go downstairs here. I don't know if it's a remnant of something or why that's there. It doesn't look like anything to me. Now, on the note of all this passerby stuff, I've been a big fan of Street Pass for a lot of years now, but I'm at the point where I'm more or less out of things to do in it. And it's not to say that I don't enjoy street passing people, of course I do, and I'll still be doing it for a long time, but I kind of want to make a humble request to you specifically watching this video. I'd like for us to bring Pokemon Black, White, Black 2, White 2, whatever you have, to conventions whenever I'm at them. I want to have my sea gear on and collect passerby and have it affect things in this save file. I think that'd be a super neat way to integrate you guys into this. Around the time of this video going up, I'll be talking about multiple conventions that I'll be going to in the near future to hopefully make this happen, and I'd like to give progress updates on this as we go along. I thought it'd be a nice way of making this Let's Play more unique. Sound good? Okay. Now let's get on with seeing the rest of the city. We're gonna be zigzagging across the streets and alleys, starting with Battle Company! This place is one of the most helpful ones to make a stop at! People who work in this building have Pokemon battles, not opinion battles! You appear to be strong, but if you go upstairs, please be extra careful. Oh yes, if you'd like, you should have your Pokemon hold this. EXP SHARE! That'll make it so that experience is shared half and half between the Pokemon that battled and the Pokemon that had it equipped. It may be useful for raising weak Pokemon. I'm a janitorial man, I make everything big and spin! I got a janitorial band! I got a janitorial girlfriend! Go on, man. Even if you're not going up for side content, I recommend this place a lot. Oh, you'll help me? Which Pokemon to choose at the beginning of your journey? So, I already have a Miracle Seed from Castelia Park, and I already have a Charcoal from, uh... I think it was one of the buildings up north? So the only one I don't have is Oshawott's item. Oh, Yeah? You'll give me this. If your Pokemon holding powers of water type moves, we get a Mystic Water. I believe the Charcoal is the most technically sparse of the three, so you might want that one. But I just chose to go for the Mystic Water so I would have them all and have options open to me. I'm in the Castilia Harlequin Hunt. You found the Battle Company Harlequin. All right. Every morning my Pokemon wakes me up with uproar. As I what is it with people being woken up by Pokemon using moves on them in this city? This is the third and the fourth time that we've heard about this happening. A uh, variety channel. It's time for today's personality assessment and horoscope. So, what's today's si star sign? Dr. Astropoff, if you please. If you are born in April, your sign is Whimsicott. I was born in April. You could have described it as hating to lose and having a strong sense of justice. Everyone around you probably respects your strong character. Try to be kind and gentle and all will be well. What's the lucky item for a Whimsicott sign? Well, carry a Hyper Potion. Everyone around you will appreciate your generous kindness. Thank you very much. See you next time. There is an entire Pokemon horoscope that can be seen through this. Every month has its own Pokemon that represents it. It's a bit of world building. Kind of a bit of mythology in here, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I really want the experience share on any Pokemon right now, but it will come in handy later. Oh, a company tour? Anyway, let's have a battle! We got lots and lots of trainers to battle here to become even more powerful before our big gym battle. And I thought this would be primo time for us to talk about the remaining Pokemon that we can catch in Castelia City. Oh, right, Pignati's still fainted. Oh, crap. As I was saying, just so that you remember, these are all of the Castelia Park Pokemon besides Eevee as we didn't have time to go over them. Lots of good stuff in here. Skitty! Ugh, this terrible Pokemon! It's only in white too, thankfully. By far my favorite thing about Skitty is Normalize. Not because the trade of same type attack bonus on a move is worth giving up all type effectiveness, but because there's an undeniable charm to using Thunder Wave on ground types. No stat over 70, evolves with a Moonstone, which must be grinded for in Dust Clouds if you don't want to wait until the fifth gym to get one. It's encountered one level too high to no tackle. It starts off with <laughs> double slap. Do yourself a favor and use frustration or return. It learns absolutely awful moves leveling up, then doesn't learn anything after evolving. I guess at least there's nothing to miss out on. 
and Delcaddy. Wow, one of these guys wasn't bad enough. The barely evolved Delcaddy is only found in Rustling Grass. I can at least give this one points for high stats compared to a lot of other options for the upcoming gym, but it's not the highest stats by a long shot, even speaking about right now. Black 2 gets it a bit nicer. Buneary is the only Pokemon that naturally learns frustration, and there's a good reason for that. It has zero based happiness and is the hardest happiness evolution to achieve. At least if it's gonna be a jerk, it has the tools to do it in style, I think. It's fast in both life stages, and when it's not using a physical move first, it's laying down effects quickly. Thunder Wave is a good move for it, and besides that, it can baton pass in agility. Sadly, that's about where the good stuff ends. Like I said, it's pretty tough to evolve, and even when it does, it just has pretty mediocre stats aside from speed. Rarely seen in wrestling grass is Lopany! Teach it return right away. While it has good stats for now, and it's nice to skip the evolution, it's also not a great Pokemon in the long run. The defenses are really weak, and the best thing to look forward to it is Jump Kick, coming up soonish. Petalil is not truly a version exclusive. There's another way of getting it, but for now, only White 2 can find it. This is a speedy plant that hits hard but has next to no variety in moves. A good Petalil ends up with Sleep Powder so it can set up with Quiver Dance, which is a rare move that raises speed, special attack, and special defense in one use, and then uses Petal Dance when buffed with own tempo to stop it from confusing itself, and then healing up with Giga Drain after the fact. I'm sure someone didn't take kindly to me stating a moveset is a fact and want me to acknowledge the other options, but the kicker is that aside from Dream Eater, it only learns grass and normal type moves. Plus, Quiver Dance is too damn good to ignore. That's one of the best moves in the entire game. It uses one moveset, never has anything else worthwhile, but the moveset it has is so good that I consider it just balance at that point. It has to keep Sleep Powder as a Petalil to get this moveset, but it learns Quiver Dance at level 28 as a Lilligant. Evolve it by then. Speaking of, in Rustling Grass, you can find that. Wild Lilligants reek of never getting Sleep Powder when they learn so few moves as it is. Catch it as a Petalil at all costs. The matching pseudo-exclusive for Black 2 is Cottony, an uncharacteristically fast grass type with Prankster. It's good at making things awkward before the opponent gets to move. The strongest moves to take advantage of that ability are Stun Spore, Taunt, and the unusual Cotton Guard, which raises defense three times. Unfortunately, it takes to level 37 to learn Cotton Guard as a Cottony only, and it's a pain in the rectum to raise it that high without evolving it. New to two is Tailwind being easy to get since that raises speed on your own side of the field for four turns, and that gets the priority with Prankster. One move I can suggest if none of that tickles you is Sunny Day for a team that likes that weather. With Prankster, it's guaranteed at the start of a fight, and Sun Summoning abilities are basically impossible to obtain. Otherwise, if none of that is for you, it just uses a lot of grass and normal moves. Whimsicott is in Rustling Grass. It misses out on Cotton Guard, Charm, and Stun Spore. I could see some wanting it for grass moves because Cotton Guard is so hard to get, but those three together are such harsh things to miss. Cottony is the better catch. Back from the Pokemon Center, I won all those battles using Eevee at least once and used the Amulet Coin. Got an Aether that restores PP to one of your Pokemon's moves and you cannot buy these. Here we are! Oh, you are the Pokemon trainer I met at the entrance! You've come this far, that means you must be quite strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in this building? The janitor! Then the time has come to challenge my grandson, the company president! I'll show you just how much this battle company has researched Pokemon and trainers! Wow, he's so threatening, guys! Just look at him! I just wanna pinch his little cheeky wiggies. He's got two Pokemon, let's see what- you Oh, we're gonna do Eevee versus Eevee! Man, I wish there was a Poison-type Eevee evolution with that being my favorite little type and all. Um, originally in the development of Gold and Silver, Umbreon was going to be a Poison-type Eevee evolution and would have evolved with an item called the Poison Stone. We know this thanks to some leaks that have happened over the years. I think it was a positive change because Umbreon just looks so good as the Dark-type that it is and it was gonna be more purple instead of black. 
Um, I prefer that. I've given a lot of thought to what a poison type Eevee would be called, and my two picks for a name would be either Scorpion or Australian. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, man. There's so many cool things that you could name them. I, um... When they did the Scarlet and Violet event where you could get Eevee with every Terra type, I gave every single one of them a nickname. Like for the Rock type, I did Obsidian. There's so many good names that you could do with Eevee. He's just so malleable and cute and everyone loves him. And God, is he monetizable. <laughs> ever since they realized they could sell me merchandise nine times with Eevee, ever since that, I... Uh, I, I've not had as much money per paycheck as I usually do. Is the reason I spent my whole life on really for not? Dude, you're like four. <laughs> He didn't have a lot of money on him either for a company president. I lost. Because you were strong and I was weak. We must do even more research for Pokemon and for trainers. Thinking that when you win is because of your Pokemon and when you lose is because of yourself might make you stronger. But enjoying yourself is much, much more important. Are you gonna give me anything? Like, really? Are, are, you, are you not gonna give me anything? Um, I mean, I guess I got the experience share for free when I walked in the door, but still. Um... Going into the things that you get in this place. From the trainers, you would not believe it. I got two quick balls. These have drastically increased catch rates on the first turn of battle and can even get you some legendary Pokemon without needing to fight. They're that good. Timer balls are the opposite, where I got five of them, shoot. Uh, these uh, will have a higher catch rate the longer a battle's been going on for, and they can get up to the highest of any Pokeball, except for, I think, the Heavy Ball in a couple of species. Uh, guard spec prevents use of a stat reduction on your Pokemon. It's an X item. And then we got the scope lens, which boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. This does indeed stack with high critical hit moves and would be a fantastic held item if you had anybody who had one of those moves. That's everything for this place. These statues are everywhere all over the Pokemon world. I, it's one of the images that I most associate with the franchise, actually. You, I believe, free for all, it's the Castilia Harlequin and you have visited, you have visited, you have this many places to visit. Wow, zero. That means you completed the Castilia Harlequin. Congratulations, this is a small commemorative gift. I mean, it's no bicycle, but it'll do. It's our second rare candy this city. And now, I want to go down this way. What can I do for you? No, 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 no. It's kind of nice that this is not a point of no return, and that you can sail back to Verbank City if you want. I remember wondering if that was the case. Next, we're going to zigzag down the city streets, doing each one one at a time. Uh, this one, I have not done this one, and this is right near the Battle Company, so up we go! Oh, I'm starting in a dark alley. Where did I put those sunglasses?! Uh, hi. Ah, I found him. And you've really got to have more light by your way. See your way. Take this. It helps you see in dark places. Ah! This guy flashed me in a dark alley! If you use the move flash, the accuracy of the opponent's move goes down. When you use it twice, the rate of, to get hit by a move will be about half. Because it means more light. He's actually wrong. Uh, he has not indeed seen the light here. It takes three uses to lower the opponent's accuracy by half, so not quite as good as it seemed. You can't change your family, but you can change how you interact with one another. Still, that said... I've been letting my tired mind relax in this cafe this whole time. A beautiful melody makes people happy. A sad melody makes people sorrowful. That's the power of melodies. Sometimes sad songs make me feel better when I'm really sad, you know? It's kind of the adverse effect. Uh, yeah, first time here. Please. Moo Moo Milk. That recovers 100 HP, one of the best healing items for the money. Free. Listen to him playing guitar. I went back to the home I'd left behind, and my mother cried tears of joy. That's mother's for ya. Aww. <laughs> we'll go over this way. Grin. <laughs> you said grin. You can't be serious, am I right? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Hey yo! Later days, pal. Here, go get yourself a juice or something. Uh, get on the dowsing machine, and then we'll just hop on our bike and go. So I can ride around in my favorite plaza! I'm gonna miss this place so much. With half of the roads down. That's. Two out of four, yep. 
I think we're gonna stop there, and next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we'll explore the other half of this bustling metropolis. See you guys then! I was trying to do donuts, but it didn't translate very well. If only I wasn't so obsessive-compulsive that I could bring myself to walk diagonally.